the act of selecting the leaders is duly and efficiently done at every level of the organization. This process of selecting its leaders has elevated the status of the organization among the students and the people of this country and at the same time increased its acceptability manifold. In order to bring an ideologist movement to the brink of success by facing the opposition force, there is no alternative to the trained workers. Shibir considers it a duty to take active steps to provide the students organized under the organization with Islamic knowledge and build them up as workers with ideal characters so that they can prove the supremacy of Islam by facing all the challenges of Jahiliya. This is the third point of our permanent programs. To this end, Shibir holds in its store the programs of establishing libraries, reading and distributing Islamic literature, study circle, preservation of personal report, Quranic classes, etc. Shibir considers it of special significance to seek the knowledge of Islamic literature that would help face the challenges of the age. The issue of personal amendment, improvement and development carries a special significance to Shibir. Shibir believes that if someone regularly looks into the journal of his or her personal works, he or she is sure to develop gradually. The fourth point of Islami Chhatra Shibir is, in order to build up ideal citizens, continuation of its struggle to change the educational system based on Islamic values and providing leadership in the struggle for the solutions to the problems of the students. Shibir undertakes to put forward to the students, teachers and the intellectuals the answers relating to the definition and characteristics of an Islamic system of education, how it can be launched and the defects of the existing system of education. Through this, Shibir has brought forward the significance and necessity of Islamic education. To this end, Shibir organizes seminars and symposia from time to time. Shibir has been playing a pioneering role in the movement for launching the Islamic system of education. In the movement for establishing an Islamic system of education, Shahid Abdul Malik has remained a beacon of inspiration for millions of youths of this country. Shibir observes 15th August, the day of Abdul Malik's martyrdom, as Islami Education Day. Shibir has stood by the student community in many of its crises and their solutions. Shibir has played a pioneering role in solving the problems of the students not only at the social level but also at the personal arena. To this end, Shibir offers programs like stipend, lending libraries, free coaching classes and distribution of academic implements. Islamic revolution is never possible without the replacement of a dishonest leadership with an honest one. This is why Shibir actively takes part in the student council elections at colleges, madrasas and universities. It has created among the ordinary students a positive impression surrounding the honest leadership of Shibir. Presently, Islami Chhatra Shibir is an established name as an organized and well-disciplined organization in all the academic institutes of Bangladesh. The fifth point of Shibi's program is undertaking all-out efforts for implementing an Islamic revolution in order to emancipate the humanity from economic exploitation, political persecution and cultural bondage. Shibir firmly believes that efficient leadership and well-disciplined team of workers alone can play the basic role in the development of a society. To this end, Shibir emphasizes that every leader and worker of Shibir be built up as a human with the qualities of leadership through developing a career 
and achieving knowledge. Shortly after its inception, Islami Chhatra Shibir became the symbol of hopes and aspirations of the nation. They instilled a new vigor in the national life. The talented students started to get organized en masse under the flag of Shibir. After a long interval, there sounded and echoed the takbir, Allahu Akbar, in the academic institutes of Bangladesh. But the anti-Islamic forces could not accept this march of Shibir. The sections with vested interests stood hand in hand with the anti-Islamic forces to plot against Shibir. Within 48 days of its establishment, the anti-Islamic sections waged an attack at a rally of the organization in the University of Dhaka. Ever since, there had been attacks on Shibir one after another. On 6th February 1978, a bunch of spirited youths gathered at the establishment anniversary of Shibir held in Chittagong University. On the same day, the secular and leftist student organizations launched similar attacks at the establishment anniversary of Shibir held in Rajshahi University. The green premises of Motihar got drenched in blood. In 1982, Shabir, Hamid, Ayub and Jabbar these four Shibir leaders were murdered in Ranshah University. A bomb attack on the procession of Shibir during the Daksu election in Dhaka University ripped asunder the legs of Tufazal and Saiful. This is how Shibir kept on coming under attacks and tortures throughout the country. The trend still goes on. Along its thorny march forward, Shibir has so far counted 121 martyrs of its own. In order to preserve the memory of the martyrs, Shibir has built up an ultra-modern museum. It works as the source of inspiration for the leaders and workers of Islamic movements. Ever since its inception, Islami Chhatra Shibir has been struggling for democracy. The robust and active role of Shibir in every single democratic movement is well known to the people of this country. No government of the past could take these democratic movements of Shibir easily. Hundreds of Shibir leaders and workers fell prey to police torture and imprisonment. Shibir fell into the wrath of the autocratic regime spanning from 1982 to 1990. The then autocratic ruler pardoned the killers of four Shibir leaders killed on 11th March 1982 in Ranshahi. The police launched reckless attacks upon the demonstration of Shibir on 10th May 1985 in Dhaka, held in protest of the abasement of the Quran in Kolkata. Hundreds of students were wounded and arrested. But Shibir did not stop its anti-autocracy movement even for a single day. Shibir's role in the mass uprising of 1990 is quite robust. Shibir played a historical role in the countrywide movement in demand of the election under a caretaker government. In the face of incarceration, torture and murder, Shibir never flinched. These elements have rather catalyzed the movement. During this time, 48 leaders and workers of Shibir had embraced martyrdom and countless workers and leaders had gone to prisons. In 1996, the secular and anti-Islam Awami League came to power. Nepotism, party politics, murders, lootings and rapes gave rise to an abysmally anarchic situation in the country during the period of this government spanning from 1996 to 2001. 